Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 14th of September 2023 in actual date, but this puzzle that I'm about to play is from Sunday the 10th uh, because it's the LA Times Impossible Sudoku. We haven't found it impossible yet. Um, we've managed to complete it each time we've played it, uh, but it has been quite a tough game a couple of times. And there are a lot of starting digits, so I'm assuming this is a game of logic. I'm going to be putting in the pencil marks to save time right from the get-go, because I suspect it's going to take uh, some kind of logic puzzle to finish it. That's what I reckon. Um, could be wrong, of course. Might turn out to be an easy game, but uh, seeing this many starting numbers, I think uh, we're in for a tough puzzle. But today's other games have been pretty straightforward, so... Um, I think, uh, shall we just jump into it? As I say, LA Times, oh, this is dated from the 10th, Sunday the 10th of uh, September. So let's just jump into it. Let's click on the uh, ones, put one up there. There's a one. Oh, excuse me. I was hitting the right key. It's no good hitting blank keys, is it? Right, okay. <laughs> let's get a one in there. Um, so ones are going to be a pair up there. Ones are going to be a pair down here. Okay, twos then. Um, okay, we've got a pair of twos there. Oh, we're going to put in these digits here. What's missing here? Uh, two seven. Let's put that in now before we do anything else. Um, okay, threes will be in those squares. Somewhere along here. There. And a pair there. four blocks across here and across here and up there which will give us four in that square we'll have a pair of fours up there um, okay fives are in these squares here pair there Six blocks across here and across here. That will give us a six in that square. A pair of sixes up there. Sevens have to be in one of these two squares. That can't be a seven, then that's going to be a two. That's going to be a seven. Seven blocking down here, down here, and across there will give us seven in that square. Seven across here and across here. And down here will give us seven in this square. Seven up here, across here, across there. Seven goes there. And then we'll have sevens up there. I'm going to start back at one again because... Uh, Okay, so we've got one blocking across here. That means ones will be in those squares. That's going to put ones up there. Two blocking up here and up here and across here will give us two in those squares. Now that's going to give us a pair of two and three here. That should be could be useful. Two and three here. Uh, we'll get onto that in a second. I'm going to uh, what are we going to do? Uh, two blocking this square. <laughs> it certainly was useful. Two goes there. Three is in that square. This will not be three. And the two means that this will not be two. That will be our two there. And then we have two blocking across, across down here. Got two across there as well. So two is in those squares, right? Okay. 
sixes down there. And a pair of sixes there. Eight blocks across here, that will give us eight in that square. Eight going up here, up here, and across there it means that that's an eight. Eight back this way, that way, and up there will give us eight in that square. Eight, um, eight, sorry, across here and down there means that that's a pair of eights. Uh, eight across here, across here, and down there will give us eights in those squares. A pair of nines here. Um, nine blocking up there means we have nines in those squares. Nine down, so nines in these squares. Ah, this is actually one and three now, isn't it? One and three blocking here, so that's got to be a seven. Uh, so that would be a seven, and this is not. And we can remove our candidate seven. Seven is actually a finished digit now, that's good. Uh, we've got four blocking this square and four blocking this square. So in this row, that's going to be a four. If only I can hold down the right thing, me Bob. That will give us fours in those squares there. Blocking up there, that gives me a pair of nines there. Um, so I think uh, that's it for pairs. So, where do we go from here? Uh, I think we have to put in the rest of the digits. Okay, so we've got nine missing in those squares there. Uh, oh, this middle shoot is done, right? So that's that block is done there. Um, shall we go across? I guess so. Uh, one, two, three, four. So four possible like that five blocking up here five in those squares there what else do we need six blocks up here is that everything four five nine six yes over here what are we looking for one two three four five six what do we know about six blocks up here six is in those squares one four six nine okay we're done then Six nine six nine. Uh, okay, middle shoot is done, isn't it? This is one, three numbers, two numbers, two numbers. Right. Okay, so down here, uh, one is done. Two, three, four, five. Where's a five? Hello, five. 
five blocking across the bottom like this five goes there six blocks down here so we get six in those squares there seven is in eight is in and nine hello nine no idea about nine by the looks of it so let's put in the nines everywhere and let's have a look at this column ah quickly gotcha already or pair of one eight look hidden one eight here so this six and nine can be removed it's got to be a one eight pair here and here Five, six, nine, three numbers in four numbers in four squares, rather. Uh, anything else we can do with that? Eight, nine, two, eight. Mm, not sure. Now, three, six, nine, that's done, isn't it? So, this is the only block to do, actually. Uh, what do we need? Fours block like this. So, we get fours in those squares there five blocks like this so we have fives and nine blocks down here so I guess nines can go there ah oh, six nine pair look at that so this six nine cannot be true can it let's get rid of the six and the nine and this nine is not true so we got four five here what how what how what the how what how what how does it <laughs> Four, five, four, five, six, nine. Oh no, we already had that. Four numbers in four squares. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Um, So six and nine pairs everywhere. Ah, 
Now, last week we had an XY wing on this game. I think we've got another one here. Look. Do we not? Three and six, right? So six is our starting digit. We've got three here. So this is the three. We've got our extra number here, third number, which is the nine. Nine here. So yes, indeed, we've got three, six, three, nine, six, nine. It means that this starting six, this ending six, and this square can see both of those starting and ending squares. So this six cannot be true. That's got to be, an, if I can hit the right key, the nine. OK, so that will give me a nine up there, and it will give me a six in this square here. A four will be here, a one will go there. Now let's do some removals. Well, we've got four and six here, so we know this is in fact a five. And this is going to be a nine, isn't it? We also need a nine in that square there. Six over here, we've got five there. This will not be a five. Uh, neither, no, neither of these will be five. Uh, nor will this be a five. Uh, have we got the fives done? Okay. We've got nine here, so this must be a three. So three there, one there. Here's a six. That's not going to be a six. This must be a six because sixes are up there. Oops, wrong mode again. Six there, four there, four up here. Six there. Um, right, what have we got left? Uh, let's have a click and see. Ones are like so. Twos are there. That's okay. Threes. This can't be a three, can it? Let's remove the excess candidate and let's place our three there. Can't have fours in these squares anymore. But so this would be a five, this would be a nine, and the four must be in this square here. Um gotta get rid of candidate four there and candidate nine there as well. This would be a five. Okay, our nine goes here. This would be a one then. So eight, nine to go there, twos in that square, twos there. This must be eight. This is one. Uh, six is here and five finishes the game. That's our weekly impossible Sudoku. Uh, f what's it called? Los Angeles times impossible Sudoku. That's it for this week. See you around. Uh, I don't know if I'll be playing Sudoku tomorrow. I'm going to be out most of the day, but uh, I'll try and get in some games if and when I can. Bye-bye.